Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy from Buckeye Sports Center in Huron, Ohio. Wanted to take you on a walkthrough on this nice 2023 Stingray 216cc. It's been a really popular boat for us up here. So starting up in the bow of the boat, we have a nice deep V entry angle with a very wide uh, bow design inside so it gives more of a flare along with a great uh, dry ride um, going along the chain there. It really deflects the water down. This boat's equipped nicely. We've got our docking lights there. Trailer you're going to have a spare tire with. Navigation lights built into the rub rail was a really cool idea that Stingray did. And then moving down the side of the boat, it's deep enough to stay dry, but close enough to the water to be able to net and get to your fish easily. And then wrapping around the back here, we've got our ladder. I love that Stingray puts it right along the side here. So it's far away from the prop and engine. We also have trim tabs on this boat, which is just gonna soften the boat up that much more, going through any uh, choppier conditions. And then you can also stabilize your load. It's equipped with the Mercury 150. And then when you're looking at the back, you can see it's a flatter rear hull design, which is gonna give you a lot more stability it's almost like you're standing on a rectangle versus standing on a triangle. We want to have our nice deepness, that deep V entry angle in the front of the boat, not the back of the boat, or else you're standing on a triangle. Let's go inside, I'll show you a couple more things. So walking onto the boat, it's nice easy walk on. Stingray really extends this rear running surface out. You can see we've got all of our rod holders there, along with cup holders and a ski pylon if you wanted to pull a tuber or a skier or a wakeboarder. And then an easy entry in. Natural steps down. And walk on in. And then kind of showcasing the back of the boat here. Just show you how we have nice cushioning there. You don't have them completely snapped in. All right, all snapped down now. You can see you have a bench seating in the back there. Two nice comfortable seats. You also have the center seats with cushioning there also. Really giving you a lot of extra room uh, for a lot of different events. Go ahead and take those cushions out and now you got a great casting platform. And then underneath the center there, we've got a nice storage tub along with a live well there. I love how Stingray has a cooler right underneath that center walkthrough. Perfect for throwing a walleye or whatever fish you're going after in. And then up in the council, we've got nice bolstered seats. Love how they individualize the bottoms of the seat, but then on the backrest, it's all one piece. It gives you a little bit of a feeling of being locked in a little bit more and flipping up those bolsters works perfect whether you want to put your legs on that lower bar or you want to put them up towards the council. Moving up on the council there, we've got this one equipped with the Garmin. Also the trim tabs. You can see how they put a courtesy light down below there. And easy view out of the windshield there. Along the top there, we've got a lockable glove box and we can turn on our spreader lights and lights up above, which this boat has plenty of rod holders going all through it. Moving down the side here, easy to walk through. It's pretty wide. Easy spot to go ahead and fill up your water. I love the fact that Stingray puts a trash can right here easy to go ahead and flip out and then right on below there is going to be where our sink to wash out is you have washout hoses in two spots so two people can do the job make it a little quicker and then underneath that center spot there is a bucket for us to throw additional bait fish in if we want them i love how stingray goes ahead and puts this removable chair up there and plenty of layout room. It's a big area, 
but these lockers below they can be used as storage or you could use them as coolers if you wanted to and then the speakers right along the side there fill up the bow with music in front of the center console we got another little live well underneath the center seat um, and also additional seating obviously and again you can see that nice size and room going along the side there and working up we've got lighting on the t-top and then there's our nice big live well so two live wells on this boat and actually two buckets because there's also another bucket underneath the back seats so no matter where you're fishing at on the boat you can have your bait there um, and you also have spots to throw your fish in on the port side towards the bow you've got tackle trays there easy fold out additional cup holders and inside the center console there's a nice storage locker plenty of room if you did want to throw a porter potty in there there's a spot already for it you've got a spot for trolling motor batteries and then even on the fabric that backs the console and the electronics you've got little drop-ins to throw items in but overall it's a big area inside there especially for a 22 foot boat and the council does have a nice cover that goes over that center seat thanks for joining me today on this walkthrough of the 2023 stingray 216 cc appreciate you guys tuning in and checking this boat out for additional information visit BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Also check out our YouTube page. We've got tons of informative videos there. And then definitely like us on Facebook and Instagram. We're constantly posting new updates of great items and things that are happening here at Buckeye and in the boating industry. Thanks for watching.